I'm a family physician and pediatrician. I've been practicing medicine for about 12 years. And I've had to, as a physician, address the life of the mother exception. I was speaking at a homeschool convention last week, and it was at the same convention where an Answers in Genesis author and speaker, Dr. Tommy Mitchell, was speaking, and he had written an article in April, their edition of Answers Magazine. And the article was entitled, Are, uh, Is Abortion Justifiable? And he argued that in, that in uh, cases of maternal chemotherapy for leukemia, and they also argued for HELP syndrome and chorioamnionitis, that abortions were justifiable to save the life of the mother. And I met this couple and they said, we loved your article and we got to speak to Tommy Mitchell and I got to introduce him to the two children he thinks I should have been allowed to kill. Because it turns out this young woman had HELP syndrome. She was on dialysis uh, and requiring ICU admission and intravenous fluids and the physicians of course urged her to get an abortion. And she kept the babies, they were delivered, the, both the children survived and it turns out Killing babies isn't good health care after all, because these babies can survive. You don't have to kill the baby in HELP syndrome. You don't have to kill the baby in chorioamnitis. You can facilitate delivery, and if the baby dies, at least you didn't try to kill the baby. God's word forbids trying, attempting, intentionally trying to kill a child. But if you facilitate delivery of a child, and the child inadvertently dies, that's, there's no crime that's been committed. There's no ill will or malice there. The Dublin Declaration is a statement of physicians in Ireland who are trying to prevent abortion being legalized in Ireland right now. There's a tremendous push to justify it based on the exceptions. The exceptions is like the little pinprick hole in the dam where the water starts leaking out. And it's just a matter of time for the dam comes crumbling down. And they're trying to, based on the uh, life of the mother exception, justify and legalize abortion in Ireland. And these physicians are saying it's never necessary to kill the baby. You can facilitate delivery and try to save the mother and the child. You do not have to dismember and kill these babies. There's a good illustration which helps demonstrate how it's wrong to kill one of our patients just because it may benefit the other. If you're driving down the road and you see a car go off a bridge into the water and you dive into the water to try to heroically save the two people in this car. Let's say if you pull the, the driver of the vehicle out of the car, but you're unable to save the passenger, would it therefore be justifiable for you to take out your gun and shoot the passenger you're un unable to save? No, it would not. That would be murder, even if that person was going to die anyway. It's wrong to intentionally kill an innocent person because they're going to die anyway. We should try to save them both. And some have argued, I'm pro-life, but I need to make this exception. We've got to allow the killing of, of babies conceived through rape. We've got to allow the killing of babies conceived in incest or, or babies that might be born deformed or who, babies who might die anyway. When you make exceptions to the divine prohibition against killing, you have violated that commandment. You know, it, James 2.10 says, He that keeps the whole law and offends in one point is guilty of all. And a murderer has no eternal life abiding in them, whether you've killed one or a hundred. And so you can't say you're compliant with God's standard for life, that is never intentionally kill an innocent child. And yet you've intentionally killed an innocent child. That violates the law of God and He is the author of right and, right and wrong. Relative morality fails to, to justify itself, much less a standard by which we can live. God is the author of right and wrong. God said it's always wrong to intentionally kill an innocent person. And the devil's out there giving people alternatives. Yeah, it's, it's wrong most of the time, but you can make this exception. What do we think of a man who's been faithful to his wife his whole life, but he makes an exception on a business trip with the secretary? He's an adulterer. I don't care if he was faithful most of his life. In the same way, if you've never killed an innocent person except one time, you're a murderer and you've violated God's standard and you need to repent. God's ways are always the best way to live.